Hi Pisces, welcome to your general reading for the end of September. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. Uh, please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me, personal reading, social media, decks I'm using, playlist, tons of stuff there. So please do go check that out. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out for personal readings and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel is very much appreciated. Thank you for all your support. It really means a lot to me uh, helping this channel to grow and flourish so we can get these messages out to the people that need to hear it and being a part of that. So thank you, thank you so much. Okay. Pisces, end of September general reading. I will read it as a general reading. I just finished your love reading. So um, that will probably go up first before this reading. So if you could fit it into any kind of situation, this reading here into your life, into a love situation, then please do that if it does make sense to do that. Otherwise, this is a general reading. So whatever comes out, comes out. So I hope you're all doing well, Pisces. And I uh, hope uh everyone's doing well going into the fall season already if you can believe that all right so this is an oracle zodiac oracle so let's see what we get here what may be around pisces in some way shape or form or affecting them if you don't resonate with what comes out here that's totally fine it's sort of like a little extra bonus so don't get too caught up well we have the planet of neptune so i do believe neptune does represent Pisces so your own energy is coming out here so wow you have 12 <laughs> look at that you have your 12 and then the Neptune is 21 wow so let's see Neptune is about imagination compassion psychic experiences and balancing things out or having you know physical balance, mental balance, just balance in your life all the way around, balancing, imagination, compassion, psychic experiences, and balancing. Hmm. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. All right, so let's get an oracle here, see what's going on with Pisces, second half of September, general reading spirit, please, thank you so much. What's going on with Pisces? What do we need to know about Pisces, Spirit, please? Can we have a card for Pisces? What's going on with them? Thank you so much. One card. These are big cards, so one card for Pisces, please. Thank you so much. What's going on with Pisces? All right. Well, I think one of those, let's see, and I think it's this one, throat chakra. So this is about uh, clear cut communication. This is about speaking your truth. It's, about, uh, it's all about the throat, everything that has to do with verbalizing, communication, uh, conversations, being honest, open, and truthful, not holding back. So in 29 there is 11, and then 11 is 2, which does speak of, um, you know, like unity, partnership. So let's see, um, communication, self-expression, creativity, expression of will, divine guidance, inner voice, speaking one's truth. So we'll see how, see what's going on, Pisces. Bottom of the deck, we have home, shelter, safety, nurturing, and warmth so there may be some sort of truth that needs to be had or truthful conversations about your home life for some reason here so hmm. something about your home here you need to speak up in your home there needs to be some open honest truthful communications about something with your home life uh, maybe you're not feeling safe for some reason uh, I don't know Okay, so let's see what's going on with you. All right, what's going 
Well, we have the Three of Swords in reverse. So this is getting over heartbreak. So whatever heartbreak you know you you had, whatever happened to you, you're now getting over that. It could be something to do with your home life here. And now you're free to uh, maybe you're free to speak about it now, to talk about it now, to express yourself about whatever this heartbreak that you you've healed from, because this is. Well, this is the before tarot so so well okay this is the before tarot so this is a heartbreak that doesn't that hasn't happened yet but with the with it reversed here it could be um like i said something that's already happened here that you're recovering from because you see the swords falling out or maybe you did something to avoid a heartbreak or a heartache or something in your home life you spoke out and spoke your truth or something like that and it prevented um heartache or a heartbreak of some kind let's get more and yeah so they are speaking up so you know this could be you know apologies uh communication here so we have the five of pentacles here so this is you know earth energy here's your energy water cancer scorpio pisces air here so i think to avoid some sort of heartbreak or a heartbreaking situation, you um, you spoke up, or you there was some in something in your home life, and you apologized or had some truthful, honest, um, compassionate sort of conversation or messages here, because you have the Five of Pentacles here, which does speak of being left out in the cold, being neglected, abandoned. But it hasn't happened yet. So I think to avoid some kind of abandonment or feeling lonely or left out in the cold, you spoke up first and extended out, like I said, apologies or conversations. Um, it's like you took action before it happened. Because I think you knew. I think maybe you knew because that's, you know, Neptune is psychic experience. So that's all about intuition um, and that sort of thing. So maybe you had a gut feeling. Or, or something like that something was wrong in your home life you didn't feel like it was safe um, or something here so you finally just spoke up and avoided some sort of heartbreak and abandonment by speaking up and having truth clarity apologies compassion of some kind this makes any sense uh, only you would know your situation here but let's get more clarity on this let's get more clarity on this so we have the Ten of Cups. So, you know, this is the before tower. So they're running out of the rain here. And the Ten of Cups usually talks about, um, you know, happy home and family life here. Um, you know, happiness and joy, contentment, and the happy home and family. So I feel like... You know, <laughs> you see these running. So something happened here where there, there might have been uh, tears shed, might have been something um, something here that caused some unhappiness in your home life, in your family life. And you could see this big heartache, heartbreak coming, something here, but you extended out the apology that got the conversations going to avoid being left out in the cold or abandoned or something like that because you kind of see you know running away from the problems here but I think you knew that you couldn't run away from these problems any longer so what else to clarify this situation for Pisces justice okay so this could be something in the justice system, or it could be, you know, balancing out the scales, having truth and clarity. But, you know, this is the before tower. So this, you know, justice is not quite served yet in this situation. Or you knew justice needed to be had in this um, situation. You know, truth, clarity, balancing things out, you know, bringing peace and harmony. <clears throat> so whether you, you know, work things out here and brought justice into the situation 
or for some reason you could have ended up bringing this into the justice system. Uh, however this works for you. Um, so, I don't know, let's see. Or it could be uh, paperwork, contracts, that sort of thing, but I'm not really getting that energy. Something here to do with your home life. I mean, this could be divorce. Uh, maybe you didn't want to be the one to... Um, maybe you wanted to be the one to ask for it first, if that makes sense. So you felt like it wasn't so heartbreaking for you. Um, if you asked for it, rather than them coming to you and telling you, hey, I want a divorce, maybe you jumped the gun and said it first. Or this is just bringing uh, peace, balance, and harmony and truthful communication back into the situation. Definitely feeling something in your home environment, whether it's with family or your uh, significant other or something like that. So let's get the actual situation. So we have the Emperor, which uh, can be Aries. And then we have Strength. And then we have the King of Cups. So here's your energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is Leo with Strength. So we got three major arcana here. So we got the Emperor, which is Aries. So like I said, you took control of the situation first. You stepped forward first with the Page of Cups. And took control, took the lead, took charge before they did. You mustered up all your inner strength and courage and determination and all your willpower here. And you came forward. And here's your energy, the King of Cups. Uh, you know, so having self-love and worth and value for yourself. Um, extending out that either peace offering. I mean, this could be a peace offering. You know, maybe there was a fight, maybe there was some sort of big something that happened and you thought it was over and done, as with the Ten Cups here, with the rain coming down on the Ten of Cups. And maybe, you know, you came forward to um, apologize or have truthful conversations here and to balance out the scales and have peace and harmony and balance. Or like I said, you could have been the one to come forward first and say, well, you know what, I'm taking the lead, I'm taking charge, I know my inner value, worth, and strength, I'm in my King of Cups energy, I know my self-love and value, and like I said, could be, you know, could be asking for a divorce, speaking your truth, clarity, you know, maybe you had intuition that maybe they were going to ask, uh, you kind of knew things weren't going good. All right, so let's get more clarity here on your actual situation for Pisces, for Pisces. All right, so, oops, we have the Five of Cups. So, you know, the Five of Cups is your energy, and then we have the world here. So the world is closure. So, yeah, I feel, I feel like here you definitely want a closure in this situation. And here, and this is, you know, ending cycles and new cycles. And then you do have, you know, sadness, hurt, sorrow, you know, over this, you know, over, you know, this whole situation. There will be sadness, hurt, and sorrow in this situation, but uh, this is ending chapters and starting new chapters. So definitely could be, you know, ending, especially with justice here, right there, that's ending something and then beginning something new. Having sad, you know, there definitely could have been tears shed over this. Um, wow. <laughs> okay. So what is your advice? What is Pisces advice? Moving forward. What's Pisces advice? Moving forward. What's Pisces advice moving forward? What's Pisces advice moving forward? Wow, okay. So we have the Six and Seven of Swords. Wow. So the Seven of Swords can speak about deceit, 
untrust, untrusting energy, um, you know, someone who, it's not a trusting energy. It's deceit, it's lies, it's kind of, you know, trickery, that kind of energy. Um, and then Six of Swords here, so, you know, going into a better place, leaving all this energy behind. So whatever energy was in this situation, if there was lies, deceit, um, negative energy here, I think your advice is to move on from that, to, you know, you learn your lessons and to move on and sail into calmer waters, more peaceful waters, more harmonious waters, and to not stay in this uh, negative energy. Wow. Wow. All right, so let's get more clarification on that for Pisces. Okay, so we have the Eight of Cups. All right, so that's definitely getting ready here to walk away from something unfulfilling. It's like, you know, it's not fulfilling me, so I had to learn to fulfill things myself. <laughs> it's like drinking from your own cup, you know? So, uh, you know, that's getting ready here to walk away from something that's just not fulfilling for you. Not emotionally fulfilling um, in any way. And you do see the moon behind there, which is Pisces energy. All right, so we'll take that one. So now we have the Queen of Swords energy and the Eight of Cups. So the Queen of Swords energy here is air. But this is because you have air, air, and now air. So this, like I had said, the Queen of Swords stands up for themselves. They cut away things no longer serve them. They tell it like it is with the throat chakra. You know, Swords energy is the throat chakra. So this is the communication. This is telling it like it is. Standing up for yourself. Not taking any BS. Cutting away things no longer serving you. And then moving into a better direction for yourself. Here. And leaving this that is no longer fulfilling for you. It's just not emotional fulfilling. It's not uh, satisfying in any way. I feel like very solo energy here. Like uh, there was no, I know they just, it, it just wasn't fulfilling for you, whatever the situation was. There was lies, deceit, negative energy in some way, uh, whatever that means for you. Sneakiness. Maybe somebody was drinking uh, also. With this um, Eight of Cups here, drinking from the cup. So let's see what your possible outcome will be. So we have the Nine of Swords. So yeah, I can see you're probably going to stress and worry over this whole situation moving forward through this whole, moving forward through this whole thing here. Yeah, I can see a lot of swords. So this is a lot about the mind uh, with the sword energy, um, distress, anxiety, worry, fear, moving forward. All right, so what else What else for your possible outcome? I mean, I don't like that as a possible outcome as being, you see this the before tarot, so they're not stressed yet. I mean, they're thinking about it, but they're not like up all night yet thinking about it. So you may be at that point where, you know, it's on your mind, but it's not like keeping you up at night. So I think your advice is to not let it keep you up at night. Don't let it self-consume you. Um, just know you're going into a better place here. You're standing up for yourself. You're doing what's right for you. You know, using your throat chakra. So, you know, speaking up. Truth, clarity. All right, so what else for the outcome here for Pisces? For Pisces. So we have the Two of Pentacles. Hmm. Yeah, I'll take that one. Wow, the two pentacles and the two of swords <laughs> and the nine of swords. So uh you know, like you may you may be thinking about, you know, juggling this is juggling a lot of things around um here, and then this is can be an energy of being indecisive and not being able to make up your mind. So I don't like this as your outcome. Uh, but 
I mean, your advice is to, if this is not a good situation for you, to stand up for yourself and to go to a better place. But I can see here that, yes, there will be difficult times. There will be worry, stress, you know, fear, anxiety. There will be decisions that you will have to make that you won't want to make, but they're necessary for you. And there may be a lot of things, you know, this may be one more added thing to your repertoire where, you know, now you have to balance this whole situation on top of family, friends, work, you know, so it's a lot more to juggle around, but um, it may be necessary here moving forward. And it's just part of the process. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the five of wands. So yeah, there definitely could be, could have been just a lot of fighting, arguing, uh, petty stuff, not seeing eye to eye um, in your situation here. This is fire energy, judgment. Yeah, so finally, you know, making that final decision, that final judgment call. You know, this is also about having forgiveness. So can you at least bring forgiveness into the situation as you make this final decision, this final judgment call? And then you have the nine of wands. So this, you know, is an energy of being the wounded warrior. So with all this bickering, fighting, uh, whatever it was here, feeling just like dragged down, knocked down. But, you know, you have to keep moving and fighting on as hard as it is. Yeah, a lot of toxic energy here with the devil. You know, somebody, like I said, with the eight of cups over here could have been drinking. This could be addictions, obsessions, um, or just a lot of you know, bad energy of, you know, not seeing eye to eye, fighting, arguing, negative energy of some kind. But now getting ready here, you know, you see your new future out in the beginning, uh, out in the future that you want, but you have to patiently wait for that while you resolve this whole situation. And again, making plans for the future, for your future, for your new endeavors, making plans, decisions, but have to wait until this all resolves and works out. So, you know, three of pentacles is about teamwork, working together, compromise. So, you know, you may have to work together with this person. You may have to compromise, uh, collaboration and teamwork to work things out here. But the 10 of wands definitely are laying down the heavy burdens here. No more, just had enough. 10 is an ending and it will balance you out in the end. You will have your balance. But you and you know that you you've had a lot of intuition insights about this whole ordeal and you intuitively knew this whole situation and maybe you didn't say anything for a very long time and that's why now you have the throat chakra coming out so yep okay so let's see pisces Let's get some extra messages for you, Pisces, in your situation here. What extra messages do we have for Pisces? If I can deal these cards, I'm going to shuffle them for Pisces in this situation. What do we have for Pisces? What do we have for Pisces? Wow, so <laughs> we have double queen of swords here so we have the queen of swords where did we have that over here and now we have the queen of swords again so in the throat chakra like i said with the swords it's all about truth clarity strong patient self-sufficient funny let go of people or things that are no longer that no longer serve you wow now is the time to focus on your career on married or divorced individuals so yeah i definitely feel like this could be um <clears throat> divorce here taking control taking lead taking charge letting go of things no longer serving you and now we have balance so this is temperance card uh which can be sagittarius take everyone's input into consideration merge viewpoints to create a better solution take your time there's no need to rush so again having balance and um patience through this whole process again you may have to um, compromise, you know, teamwork, collaboration through this whole process to bring balance into this situation, having patience. Wow, so let me put this up here. You got double confirmation of the Queen of Swords. 
So is there anything else for Pisces? It's too many. Okay, these two wanted to stay, so I'll take these two. So we have the Ten of Winter. Wow. The resolution of difficulties, a weight lifted off your shoulders, the end of an addiction or codependency. So it could have been a very codependent relationship here or something here. And Ten of Swords here is an ending. It's done. It's over. It's complete. It's kaput. It's all done with the Ten of Swords. Now we have Six of Autumn. The good you do comes back to you, an unexpected inflow of money, borrowing wisely or repaying a debt. And this is the Six of Pentacles, which you had um, was down over here about balance. So again, you will get balance back into your life. And that is double confirmation here of temperance. So, you know, as hard as it may be to uh, collaborate with this person, compromise is something you may need to do moving forward to keep the balance, uh, the harmony, the peace. You also will have self-balance and harmony moving forward, even though there'll be a lot of juggling things around and decisions you may not want to make and nervous energy, stress, anxiety, fear. But just know in the end, you're going to a much better place for you. On the bottom here, we have Princess of Winter, inquisitive, truthful, realistic, undiplomatic. Information that can help you but which may also be difficult to hear. Speaking the truth with kindness, an indigo child or adult. So this is the um, Page of Swords. So again, speaking the truth with kindness and uh, information they may, may be difficult to hear. So that could be you relating this difficult. And then the King of Winter, which is like the King and Queen of Swords here. Wow, so yeah. So really relaying messages here, finally, you know, speaking up and saying something and wanting out of the situation, whether, like I said, I'm, I'm getting a home life um, in some way, shape or form. I'm not getting so much family. I'm getting uh, maybe you just speaking up now and wanting out of some sort of relationship. But just know you will be going into a better place, Pisces as hard and as difficult as it may seem moving forward. Okay, Pisces, that was your general reading for the end of September. If it didn't resonate with you, I would say check the description box below for past playlists. Maybe something there will resonate for you. I do consider them all timeless, so disregard the dates. If something catches your eye, I would say watch it. There's probably something in there for you. If you do like my style and how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments, and I uh, do bi-weekly general and love for all the signs, so hit the bell. You'll be notified every time I post a new reading. It's four readings a month, so don't miss out on that. Good luck to you in your situation here. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.